Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys some of the best iOS 14 shortcuts that you must have on your iOS 14 device in 2021. Starting things off with clear out photos. Now this shortcut allows to easily clear any photos that you have on your camera roll. Now most of the time we're taking pictures and some of those photos are just useless there and they're just taking up space on the iPhone. Of course, with this shortcut, you will have a very easy way to select them and then of course to delete them from your device. So you run the shortcut and it shows you your camera roll. You can go ahead and select the pictures that you want to delete and then tap on show selected. Now from here you will have the option to show only the, the photos that you have selected and of course take a view of them and see if you have any one of them that you have selected by mistake. Of course then you can unselect it from there. You tap the done button once you're done, tap add and now from here you can just tap no and then go ahead and delete these photos as easy as that from your device. The next shortcut we're talking about is ultra dim. If the brightness of your device is at its lowest point, but you're still not satisfied, you want it to go even darker, then you can use the shortcut. It will turn the brightness way down even lower than the lowest of iOS. So really, really cool. If you need the brightness of your device to be really low, then you can use this shortcut from the shortcuts app, of course. And once you tap again on it, it will bring back the brightness to its normal. The next shortcut for the video is Google Translate. Anywhere you are, you just select any text you want and tap the share sheet and from here go ahead and choose Google Translate. Once you tap on it, it will of course translate the text that you have copied. Now from here, you will see a list of three different languages and if you tap on other, you will see all the other languages. You go ahead and select which language you want to translate of course and then the text that you have selected will be actually translated and what you can do here is share it or just go ahead and copy it to the clipboard and then you can go ahead and use it anywhere you want. So any text you select, easily you can translate with Google Translate shortcut. Measurements Converter is the next one for the video. It allows to basically convert anything quickly using the shortcut. You run the shortcut and from here you will see a list of things that you can go ahead and convert using this shortcut. Let's go here with length. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and choose what you want to convert. So in this case, we're converting inches. It will show us a table here from where we can enter the amount, let's say five inches, click done, and then into what we want to convert that, let's say centimeters here, and it will show you the result right there. You click the done button and it gives you the option to actually go ahead and copy that result to the clipboard of your device so that of course you can use it anywhere you want. Extract PDF pages is up next. This one allows you to extract any page you want from a PDF file. All you gotta do, run the shortcut and select the PDF file from your files app. And once you have done that, you will have the ability here to basically extract and save as PDF any pages you want. So you can choose the option here, a few pages or most pages based of course on what you want to extract. In this case, let's just go ahead and select two or three here, click the done button, and now it will show us a new file with only those three pages, which are right here. Really great, of course, we can tap right there on the share button and go ahead and then save this to files as easy as that you can have a new PDF with only the pages that you're interested in. Next up is calculate tip. Anytime you want to calculate a tip, the easiest way to do it is with this shortcut. You run the shortcut, you enter the amount of the bill right here, click the done button and you choose the percentage of the tip that you want to give. Let's say 18% here, it will show you right here your tip and of course the total of the bill after the tip. Really great, very simple to use yet very very useful. Clipboard Plus is the next shortcut for the video. It allows you to manage the clipboard of your iPhone. So you run the shortcut and you will get here a menu. You can view your clipboard, you can remove clipboard, edit it, or just share the clipboard from here. So let's go ahead and go to edit. And from here, we have the ability to see what's copied here on the clipboard. And of course, we can also go ahead and edit anything that we have copied on the clipboard. Once we have done that, tap the done button and then we have the new basically text or anything that we have edited copied back to the clipboard. 
time between dates is the next one. Now, this is also a simple one, yet it is very useful. Anytime you want to calculate times between two different dates, you can do it with this shortcut, whether that be days, maybe even hours or months, you can do that with this shortcut. You run the shortcut from here, of course, and then it gives you the option to choose the date. So we will start with the current date, have the dumb button, and then the next date will be sometime in February. So let's just go ahead and go here, click the dumb button, and now it will ask us what to, how you wanna calculate the distance between these two dates, whether that be days, hours, maybe minutes, or months or weeks. Let's just go with days here and it shows you the results of 44 days from today until February 24th. Shorten URL is up next. Another very simple yet very useful shortcut. Anytime you wanna share a URL anywhere like on social media, you wanna send it to someone, but it's like too big, all you have to do is just go ahead, copy the, the URL to the clipboard of your device, and then just run the shortcut and you're good to go. As easy as that, in seconds, you will have the URL shortened. So if we go here to Safari, you will notice what I have here is this thing. This was the link that I copied. And if I go ahead and paste, you can see right now, this is the new shortened URL. And of course, it will take us to the same place. Combine screenshots vertically is the next shortcut for the video. It allows you to pick a few different screenshots from the camera roll of your device and then combine them together into one single picture. You run the shortcut from here and go ahead and pick the, your screenshots that you want to basically stitch together. And once you have done that, you tap the little add button and basically you're done here. You can give it a name, click done. And now you can see right here how it combines all of them together. Now you can see this one right here is wider so that these other ones have that white space right there. But of course, then you can go ahead and crop them. You go ahead and tap the little share button. And now you can save that as an image with all the three different screenshots or any other picture combined. Next up, we have photo details. Anytime you want to know all the different details regarding one of your pictures, all you got to do is just run the shortcut and select the picture and tap the little add button. It will show you all the different details regarding that picture. You can see right here, we have the name at the top and then we have all the different details from the date it was taking, the creation date. We have here the camera model, you can see everything of course the resolution the size the file type you can see even the shutter speed right there the iso everything will be right there so all the different details you need to know about any pictures taken with your iphone or another device like in this case with my camera can be seen using this shortcut next up is reverse image search you want to search for images on the internet so let's say you have like maybe a wallpaper or a picture but you don't have an actual link to that you have it saved under the camera roll and you want to find it on the internet you just copy it to the clipboard of your device and run this shortcut what it will do it will basically reverse search that image on the internet and will find you that image so here i have a wallpaper copy to the clipboard as you can see right now it will find me that image and of course where it is on the internet next up we have auto wall now with ios 14.3 apple has added the option to set wallpapers using shortcuts and with auto wall you can set a wallpaper of course from an album that you select you can see i can run the shortcut and go ahead and set a new wallpaper now this combined with automations of course you can get great results you can have new wallpapers at any set time now what you gotta do after you install this shortcut is tap the little three dots and go ahead and pick your album from there now what it says here backdrops in my case you tap there and pick any of your albums and last but not least is convert to GIF. This one allows you to convert your pictures into GIF files. So you basically run the shortcut and you choose the different files that you want to use. And then of course you will turn them into different GIFs. So let's just go ahead and pick a few here, tap add, and you can see you can now create a GIF out of those pictures that you have basically selected there, tap the share button, and you can save this as a GIF file on your camera roll and then share it anywhere you want. So that is it for this video, guys. These are some of the best and most useful shortcuts that you can get on your device running iOS 14 in 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
all the links to these shortcuts will be right down below in the pinned comment. Go ahead, check them out, and of course, install them if you like them. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.